Hi there, Capricorn, Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your December 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy, from In The Stars by Chrissy.com. Now, before we begin, please do you know that this is a general reading, so it may or may not tune in necessary for each and every Capricorn people out there. So just keep that in mind as we go along. So... Um, let's begin the reading starting with the Emperor card that we have over here. This can represent you, Capricorn, or it could be someone that you know, someone you're thinking about, someone that you are desiring. So it can be either of those. I would say that this is a situation we're in um, because it is with the Knight of Swords over here. It's like in the past, maybe you have a situation that you're focusing uh, before where in things have been quite in an hesitant mode because when it comes to the emperor even though it's a very authoritarian card um it's usually the card that always takes a lot of time in making decisions and stuff like that so i would say that this could be a time where in you are now quite ready to move forward especially with the knight of swords i would say that you know Maybe it's something that you did not even plan or maybe you feel that it is the right time. Because with the Knight of Swords, you know, something surprises you. Something becomes abrupt and maybe some form of news or messages might come and it can happen in a very surprising way. Or you could be the leader of some kind, you know, suddenly taking action, suddenly leading into a group, you know. So if you have a very passive energy of, or if you have been taking your approach into whatever situation that you are going through, maybe it has a lot to do with your love life, your family life. Um, we're dealing, we're talking about in this reading all kinds of relationships. So it's not necessarily all about in the matters of the heart, but it's highly possible always because that is the focus. But um, yeah, just be more open and use your own intuition as we, you know, get along with the reading as you will, you're the only one who will be able to know what I'm really talking about. So we have here the sun card. No, so it gives me that energy we're in, you know, something has been really closed off in the past and now suddenly everything is open. All the opportunities in life are suddenly being open to you. And it gives you a lot of chances to actually take action, initiate action, have some form of courage to really fight things off. I kind of feel that, you know, this is more of an energy wherein you wanted to protect yourself. Maybe the reason why you are taking action is, you know, it has a greater good kind of scenario. Maybe it is your own defense mechanism, which is highly possible. And it can just be also a point in your life or in you just feel that this is fate. This is the right time to do so. So it has a lot of form of energies like that. It is showing us here that in the recent past, um, something really good happened or some form of news came in. So we are really seeing some form of communication, talking, movement um, happening here. And if you are uh, in a situation wherein there are problems or having some form of restriction, this could be a, a point wherein it is possible that you have received a news or some form of insight that can actually solve a problem. So there could be some form of progress and completion, but this is something that you have to act. You already got the sign, you already have the insight to proceed in life, the insight that you need to on what you should do. You should basically use your own intuition and it's telling us here with the queen of cups that following your intuition right now can actually lead you to a better path you know not everything is all about logic um sometimes you know you can actually save yourself you can actually um, prevent the worst case scenario and sometimes you can actually uh, grab the opportunity to to move forward and have some form of success in life just with that you know just with that immediate intuition that you follow you know, every, especially when uh you have that inner voice talking to you over and over again and you just keep ignoring it this could be the time wherein you might you know 
try to follow that intuition and it could actually very much lead you to a better path so we also have this knight of pentacles over here giving you giving us a signal basically that gradually and slowly but surely maybe maybe you have been contemplating on something and this is something that you really really want to do or maybe you have been thinking about but you're having some form of hesitations with the emperor card and the knight of pentacles this is a like about you really um slowly making your way into that you are trying to be very very sure of whatever is uh, situation that you want to manifest in the world whatever situation that you want conclusions on so but um, this is actually giving us some form of good news and if there are changes that you are going to be implementing this month this is like giving you giving us a heads up that it's not it's something that you were you're not gonna regret and you're gonna be happy that you did it so that's actually a very wonderful energy, wonderful news to come. Also, we have here the star card and the lover's card, which is really wonderful energy. This can really highlight, you know, I don't see any negative energy into this. I kind of feel that, you know, if you are a very pessimistic person or someone who tends to look on the negative side of things you are actually going to see that this month raises up a lot of your confidence and a lot of your of your emotional happiness you know there is some form of fulfilling nature into this this can be a, a situation wherein you are falling in love or you are very much inspired with a lot of things there's a lot of confidence in the air I don't know if you're hearing some form of noise i do apologize that is from outside so just ignore uh, anyways but because of the lover's card and the sun card here i really feel that there either there is a form of decision making that you are about to do remember we are seeing here communication and you taking action taking some form of some form of initiation to bring life to a scenario, to bring life to a relationship, and to really move forward in life. So there's a lot of passion that I'm picking up for a lot of Capricorn people out there, and that is backed up by the Devil card over here. So there is an energy here of so much passion in you, and to a point wherein I kind of feel that you are going to be stubborn about it, you know. Especially if there is something that you really, really want, you are going to be very passionate, very stubborn, which can actually, you know, have some form of positive and negative um, outcomes to that, you know. It really depends. So all I can say is that, you know, you might take action, you might actually do things in a progressive manner, but maybe it's not going to be all that smooth sailing or at the very least there are some form of adversities that you might need to overcome with that because especially we have here the nine of wands as the um as the out outcome and overall card of the reading and the nine of wands is essentially a card of like you're trying to guard yourself from something it's a card of protection at the same time it's a card of really making effort on something there is a form of a tendency to guard yourself with this so this could be possible that you know yes you are taking action you're you're doing some form of progressive approach but it could be that maybe your intuition is telling you that you know you need to confront this person here and now you know you you cannot re you cannot ignore this sign you cannot ignore whatever scenario or whatever action may they might have done and all of that so there is an energy here of some form of burden some form of things that you have to let go um and uh, I'm not saying that you are going to let go of a specific person or a specific relationship, but I kind of feel that there is a form of, ne uh, I would say, negative pattern or something that you have told yourself, you know, self-limiting beliefs maybe. You need to stop being stubborn on that and you need to take action on a very different approach. Also, because the last card of the deck we have here is the Eight of Swords. So the Eight of Swords is a very restricting card, you know, some a card that 
makes you feel stuck makes you feel confused and this is something that maybe you are wanting to break away from so all of the actions that we are seeing over here is about you taking action to make a decision to change something something that is not working in your life maybe because you don't want to dig yourself deeper to a point wherein you cannot get back up again so there are different energies into this i kind of feel that there's going to be like a big challenge that you might need to overcome so that there might be some form of worries over there some form of grief but at the same time you will have the answers like there's going to be an aha moment that can actually lead you to get out of whatever situation that you're going through to get out of this eight of swords energy and to be a, a whole new person to to feel better and have a more fulfilling life fulfilling relationship you are going to do something that makes things right you know and you're not doing this just for uh, just for the other person or other people involved you are going to do this because you feel that this is the right thing to do and you are going to do this for your own self as well because this is something that you really feel you have been thinking about it you have been you know doing a lot of hesitations and a lot of different thoughts and you feel that what you are about to do is the right choice to make and it's something that is going to make you feel happier and stronger as well. So even though that there are challenges over here that we're seeing, overall we are seeing here that you are going to be a lot more positive, a lot more... Um, it's like having your power back for, or some, for, for some reason. So it's not a situation wherein you will feel hopeless. It is a situation wherein you are going to be feeling more empowered and like you're acting on your own skin that form of energy which is always a very positive news and very positive energy and a perfect way to end things for 2020 if you would ask me to to start the the the, the next year into a clean slate wherein you don't need to think about any baggages and all of that especially if you are actually able to solve your problems solve whatever issues that are going on in the situation that you are going through at this time so yes capricorn this is your reading with me i do hope that this gives you insight and clarity into your situation um if you do want a more personal reading you can do that by sending me an email in the stars by chrissy at gmail.com my website is currently down and still fixing it i plan to reopen it like after the eclipse because i kind of feel that uh, that has a really good energy into that so <laughs> yeah we'll see um thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys again next year goodbye